weekly sit-down with local agricultural leaders and businesses. This is Tailgate Conversations. Presented by Pinnegar Chevrolet. We are here in downtown Springfield at Mother's Brewing Company to see how they have given the thousand-year-old tradition of brewing beer a local twist. So Kyle, we are here in the tasting room of Mother's. Absolutely. This is the nerve center. This is the juncture where the public gets to come and get a personal experience of everything that we're doing back in the brew house. Well, let's take me to the beginning. Where did the idea of Mother's all begin? Well, it all begins with the dream of one man, and that is brewery owner and founder Jeff Schrag. A longtime downtown Springfieldian, downtown booster, uh, committed to the revitalization of downtown, had a dream that Springfield, Missouri could be home to its very own production craft brewery. We wanted a name that distinguished ourselves, so we did a little soul searching and asked ourselves, what's the mission behind a craft brewery? And for us, it comes down to one thing primarily, craft beer is a labor of love. So we wanted something that talked about the kind of active, hardworking love that gets its fullest expression through being shared, and nothing spoke to that like the idea of your mother's love. And that's how we decided on Mother's Brewing Company. The biggest thing from our industry in terms of standards are one, a commitment to the four traditional ingredients in brewing beer. So we're talking about base beer built off of water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Uh, now you can get as creative as you want after that. We make coffee beers, fruit beers, spiced beers. We make a cucumber saison in the early summer. That's amazing. But it's the commitment to four traditional ingredients and the commitment to independence. Uh, craft brewery is independently owned, and that is a very important distinction for us as well. So you know it all starts here with ingredients, but take us deeper into that process and what makes each flavor unique to Mother's. So really for us, uh, before we play around with any ingredients outside of the main four, uh, the most important thing for us to make sure that we're settled on is a really solid base recipe. And that goes back to those four main ingredients and really controlling our process and executing everything as well as we can. So we're standing here in the malt room. Uh, this is really the foundation for every single beer we make. Uh, we can't have alcohol without fermentable sugars and we can't have fermentable sugars uh, without getting them from somewhere. Uh, and so the production dominant place we as brewers get those from is by mashing malted barley inside of our mash tun. Uh, enzymes break down those sugars and we get fermentable sugars that then turn into alcohol. So we take this grain, uh, a lot of it comes from the northern U.S., southern Canada. Uh, we also get a decent amount of grain from uh, the United Kingdom and from Germany, uh, some of our specialty malts. And then we we take those, we send them over to our brew house, mix them with hot water. Uh, we make a really rich sugar solution called wort um, that we then send to our boil kettle. We boil it, it's at that point that we add hops. Um, and then once the hops have been added, uh, we go through a quick separation step and then it sends over to our cellar where we add the fourth ingredient, uh, which would be yeast. And it's really, as brewers, we're just assembling sugar water or wort. Um, that the yeast can then turn into beer. So on a typical brew day, which takes about seven hours for a single 30 barrel batch, um, we don't actually make any beer. We make wort and then we send it over to the cellar, we add the yeast and it's the yeast that do the hard work of actually producing beer. So yeah, oftentimes we like to just focus on those four main ingredients, um, but one of the ideals of the craft brewing uh, community and this whole craft beer movement is really pushing the boundaries and trying to see what we can do with our beers. And oftentimes that means working with uh, sort of ingredients that are a little bit more out there, working with fresh citrus, uh, working with chocolate, working with coffee, 
uh, working with anything we can get our hands on that we think might help enhance or sort of further the profile of our beer. Continuing that local story, you're supporting other local businesses in this whole process as well. Yeah, for us, uh, you know, even if we can't deal with hyper-local ingredients uh, all the time, we like working with local entities and local people and really things that we can tell a story with. We get to, we get to play around and work with local businesses and have a lot of fun doing it and make great beer. This is a community space. We do all kinds of events uh, for nonprofits who want to hold fundraisers here. We throw a couple of big festivals every year where we have a couple of thousand people out listening to bands. We have food trucks out. This is really a place where people can come when they want to have a nice, laid back, good time and drink a local product that they can enjoy. And that's really part of that sharing and that sense of community.